This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 Cottage Living Early Access Speed Build. So this build is actually going to be a starter home. Now I have done a few other speed builds here on the channel that have all been part of this like early access, early capture thing for cottage living. And I will on the screen leave a link to a playlist that I've done that has all of these early access videos in it in case any of you missed any of them or whatever. But yeah, so I have done a quite a few speed builds at this point and I have quite a few left that I'm going to be posting as well. And they've all been very expensive. When I was doing these builds, I think this was maybe like the third or fourth, maybe even the fifth build that I did when I had early access. And I did this because I noticed that a lot of my builds were very expensive. And I'm talking like, I mean, the only build that's kind of close to this one in price is another, like, smaller home that I did, like, right at the end of Early Access. And that's only almost, like, I think it's 29000 or something. So it's not super expensive, but it's also not super detailed or anything like that. But all of my other builds are all very expensive and not really to a budget. So... I wanted to, do, wanted to do at least one build that was both pack restricted because I am playing or I was playing I guess I should say on a special version of the game that was only the base game and cottage living. So obviously it's pack restricted so I wanted to do a starter home with just these two packs or like just the base game and just this pack. So that if I'm able to upload these builds to the gallery, you guys will have something really easy to access if you just want to jump straight into gameplay. Maybe you don't like using cheats for your sims or whatever and you just want a cute little starter home to move into. So yeah, I wanted to do a starter home for that reason. So it is on a 20 by 15 lot. It's actually on the smallest lot that's in this world. It's on the, I think it's called the one crumple, not crumple one cobble bottom not crumble bottom cobble bottom street lot and this lot is actually in the finchwick area of the world now if you don't know which which areas i'm talking about i will leave on the screen a link to the world overview that i did where i go over all of the lots in the world i go over all three of the different neighborhoods and all of that stuff so you can get a little bit of an idea of you know what i'm talking about when i mention you know the different areas in the world but something that I just remembered, a quick little disclaimer that I wanted to do is the fact that the current build that I was playing on when I did this early access is a like unfinished, like not finished, like build of the game, I guess I could say. It's a early access build of the game. So it's not the finished product. It's not final and it is subject to change. And that's also why you will see my name floating around the screen. You will see my name floating around in all of these early access videos. That's just something that's literally in the game itself. I was actually seeing it as I was playing. So it's not just showing up on the recording or anything like that. It was literally what I was seeing when I was playing the game. So it's part of the game itself. There's no way for me to like turn it off or get rid of it. So yeah, that's just something that I wanted to mention and like I said, it's not the final version of the game. So any bugs that I might have encountered or anything that's just a little bit weird or something like that, they're all like subject to change so they could be fixed by the time the pack comes out. But yeah, so that's just something that I wanted to mention. Now back to the build, like I said, it is a start home. It's on a 20 by 15 lot. It has space for two sims, so I did test it. The sims can access both sides of the bed, they both work and everything like that. And you have everything else that you need for a starter home. So you obviously have a fully functional kitchen. You even have a laptop and a TV and a bookcase and everything like that. And then obviously I did include a few things outside as well. But yeah, so it ended up being 18,769 simoleons. So yeah, that was the price of the build. And then the lot price actually obviously gets added to that. Now this lot was worth 1,200 simoleons when it was empty. So at the end of the day, I actually just created a brand new sim 
move them in here with their 20,000 simoleons, and then build the house with what they had. So basically, it will be totally affordable if you start a brand new game with just one sim. If you started off with two sims, then obviously you would have, I think, 2,000 extra simoleons or something like that. But at the end of the day, when I was done building this, my sim only had four simoleons to their name. But honestly, that's probably one of my favorite ways to play, is to start off with, like, nothing. And then just work my way up from there. So, yeah, that was... I mean, they could afford the lot. It has everything that they needed. So, it's fine that they only had four simoleons left over. But, yeah, so that's basically the whole price of the build and everything like that. You will also notice that once we get to the outside of the build, I did end up using a ton of debug items. Not just landscaping like I have been doing in all of these builds. I've not just been using the show live edit objects menu for landscaping. I'm also using it for a lot of different decorations. Even on the inside of the house, that little gnome that I placed down. We actually have a version of that in the regular buy catalog that has a price obviously. But we also have a version of quite a few of the decoration items in the debug menu as well. And obviously because they're in debug, they're free. So I ended up using a lot of the debug like decorative items and world items to decorate the exterior of this lot because otherwise it would have looked so plain and so boring and just yeah I couldn't do it so yeah I wanted to use a ton of debug items for that reason because it allowed me to like add so much more detail than I would have otherwise been able to and you know me if you're a regular on the channel you know that I'm physically incapable of building without detailing stuff. I'm physically incapable of doing a, like, not detailed build. I just, I can't do it for some weird reason. So, yeah, I just, I, the debug menu in this pack is, like, 10 out of 10 amazing. I would, like, buy this pack just for the debug menu, if I'm being completely honest with you. I would literally do it just for the debug menu and for all of the like different items that, that are in there, for all of the different plants that are in there and like the world items and stuff. They're all like just absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to do some more building with this pack again once I get my hands on it when it comes out. But yeah, so that's the reason why I used as much many debug items as I did. You will see me go through it for quite a while here in the video. And then, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to mention about the pack. Not the pack, but about this build. But something else that I wanted to mention that I did write down is the fact that when I was building this and I was actually doing it on a budget, I actually noticed the fact that a lot of the items in the new pack are very cheap. So a lot of, like, I think all of the doors and windows and stuff, they're all like 20, 30, 50 simoleons each. And then even a lot of, like, the regular like interior items or like couches like decorations even the bed and everything like that they're all very cheap and i don't know if that's intentional if you know they're only supposed to be that cheap like the couch that came with the pack is only like i think it only costs like 500 simoleons and considering that it's kind it kind of looks like a very fancy couch it it kind of felt weird seeing it be that like cheap and even with the windows and everything, they're all like 30 or 50 simoleons. And I don't know if that's just something that they will fix with the final build of the pack. Because obviously this isn't the final build. It is like subject to change and all of that stuff. So I don't know if that's something that they plan on changing with the regular release. Like the public release of the pack. Or if it's just something that's supposed to be that way. But either way, I don't really mind. Because usually I don't pay attention to budgets. So I just use, you know whatever I want to and whatever I think would work in whatever build I'm doing. But I mean, having them all be that cheap and like affordable and stuff is actually very great if you're like really into doing budget builds or if you play without a without like using cheats and stuff like that. And obviously it makes them also very usable for like budget builds and starter homes especially. So yeah, I mean, it's not like a complaint or anything like that. It's just something that I noticed that I don't know if it's meant to be like that or if it's, you know, just a something that they haven't gotten around to changing yet, to like adjusting the pricing of items. And yeah, that's basically everything about the build. For the rest of the video, you will just see me do a ton of terrain painting because terrain painting in this pack, I, I've really developed a new love for terrain paint in this pack. 
I mean, I'm only using the base game and the new pack, so basically all just base game terrain paints. But I, I, I've just found that doing a ton of terrain painting makes all of my builds look so much more natural and like just real and like they fit in. And it just adds that nice little extra bit of detail to it, which I really enjoy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the way this build turned out. If you did, give the video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. I'll also have on the screen, like I said, a playlist link for all of my cottage living builds and I'll also have all of those links in the description as well. But I hope you're all having a great day and I'll talk to you all in my very next video. Bye everyone!